I've got a problem with me trusty Harrison 140 um, I was machining the other night and the power feed stopped working uh, there's a clutch mechanism in here that was going round and the, the feed shaft wasn't I've pulled this apart and what's in here is like a it's like a sort of spring loaded dog clutch so what happens is if you try and overrun the travel of the machine or the machine crashes and this is still spinning it's got a ratchet on there and it just jumps to stop causing any more damage so that was actually doing its job what it's supposed to do now what I found out is when I turn this shaft it's making nasty noises somewhere inside of the apron not good so I'm gonna have to take the apron apart or at least lift the top off and have a look inside and see what's actually going on looking at it there's some big bolts here and there's some bolts there and I think the top should just lift off I've had a look at the exploder diagram it, that's how it looks like it, it should work me dear rose mounted on the back I'll have to take that off and I'll take this off and make it a little bit lighter I don't think I need to take the compound slide off because all I want to do is lift this up and have a look inside of here and see what's gone wrong with it it's a little bit like uh, being bitten by our own dog <laughs> it's not very nice I think there is a bolt under there so I need to take that cover off and have a look inside there but there's certainly something something happened in there, pins come out or it's got a tooth off, something's, something's happened it's got to come to bits I'll take this car off first That's the, the feed screw for the cross slide to double start feed screw. And that's a stop that I put on to stop us winding this too far back in damaging the, the reed head. How am I doing that now? There is indeed a screw knife there, so that'll have to have to come off. I'll have to take the, the reed head off. It's on slotted hole, so I'll scrape around it so I can get it back in the same place. I could really do without doing this. These are not been the bits, the, the heads are all good on them, it's not been a part. It's a metric lathe but all the fastenings are imperial. I'm expecting to find an adjustable Cape strip underneath this. I'm just going to let it lie there. Hopefully, just check the bolts are all the same length and they're not. Got one short one, two long ones. So that is in fact a, an adjustable give there, they have the adjusters on it, that will just stop the way it is. I won't be getting involved in any of that because all that part of it's good. Now these big Allen keys in here, Allen bolts in here rather, 
if this just lifts off I'll be very very happy indeed I'm going to take the tail snap off as well it gives a little bit more more room to play I don't know if this is on, on pins or dowels or I just don't know. If there's another bolt, there's a clamp bolt under there which bolt there which is for the, the carriage lock that could be holding it. I'll take that off and then. See what happens after that. It's moving, but it's not moving much. Something's very substantial. You still got this. I don't know what that one there does. I'm gonna have to little exploratory look at that. That's the only thing I can think of. It could be holding it, so we'll have a and look at that, see what happens. Ah, right. So that bit's just fell out. And that's possibly what's been holding it I just don't know and I think it could be time for a little bit of internet a little bit of googling And that's just an adjuster to adjust the lift on that and the other one locks up which I've already taken that one out so certainly someone got it Right, I'm going to go and have a look on the computer and see what else could have it. There could be a bolt underneath there. I'll take the cross side off and come on side off, we'll have a, a look on side of there, I think.
this won't happen when I've got lots of tuning work to do as well, but it can't be helped. It is what it is. It'll be interesting to get back on. These new nuts in here anyway, those nuts are quite badly rounded off. Right. Nothing much to see under there really, is it? Bit of corrosion. There's an allen bolt there, but I'm pretty sure that'll hold the that'll just hold the brass feed nut in for that screw. That's got nothing to do with what we're trying to do here. There's nothing under there. It's definitely time to go and have a, a look on tinting it. Someone got the bastard. Nothing to see in there. It's a good clean out when I'm on, but there's nothing to nothing to see. I've done a little bit of googling and what you have to do is disconnect the two feed shops from that end and basically now that should come off the bottom like that I've got it wedged up on a, a piece of tube so it doesn't fall all the way off so basically you can leave all this attached and then the, um, the paper comes off the bottom like that quite a heavy fearsome bastard thing it is Right, so we need to see what's gone wrong in there. I'll bring the camera in for a closer look. Something's obviously coming to bits. Oh, I don't like what, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Right. Right, it's all in bits now. And what I've found is something quite simple really that is little bits of wear and things on the gears but nothing nothing horrible it's really strong in there when I was turning that shaft like that which is that's the feed shaft it was locking up those two gears were locking up and there was a hard bit of swarf embedded in there and that was enough to cause all this grief and that's working fine there now but it was going clunk clunk you could feel it was locking up I'll bring the camera up now and show you how all, all this works inside of here, it's quite interesting really. That's the gear that drives the carriage up and down the rack. You turn the hand wheel. It's still a gear train in the bottom, which reverses the drive as well as slowing it down. So when you turn the handle forward, it means that the, the carriage moves forward and not backwards. At the minute, it's set up to drive That's it there, I've set it up so it's now driving through that gear there, into that gear. That will be driving the carriage up and down the lathe bed. If you pull it that way, it engages another gear, which turns that one there, and that one will mesh with a gear underneath the carriage to turn the cross slide back and forward. The big bronze gear in there with a the worm that drives it. It's all in good nick. All at once is a proper degrease wash out and put back together again. And you can see it's nice and oily. I don't keep it hasn't got an oil reservoir in it, but it has got oil points and I keep squirting oil into it. It's just been lucky that there's a bastard chip got stuck between those two gears. 
I was expecting to see strip the house and she had pins and all kinds of horrors, but basically it's not too bad. I just wish I'd <laughs> looked before I started stripping it down and I would have learned quite a lot about it, but uh, I'm quite happy with it. We have to come to pieces. I'm happy with what I found. At least I found something. And that position there is in neutral. It's also got an interlock mechanism in, so you can't engage the feed screw. That's for screw cutting. When the when that is engaged, there's two big half nuts there that clamp on the. I'll bring the camera in. Sure, there because they're quite meaty. Right, I've put it on the bench so we can see things a lot easier now. They're the two gears that had a little bit of shade jammed in them. It's actually a neutral there, and if I lift the power feed lever up, you can see that worm wheel there lifts up and engages with a bronze wheel, and that starts things turning inside the gearbox. So basically, there's no other matter with it. And there's quite a bit of end float on that. Yeah, there, but there's no signs of any thrust washers or nothing in bits. There's nothing that's not going to do any harm at all. That floating back and forth like that. And the only part of the gearbox that's got shite in it is there. So I'm just going to wash that part off, leave the rest because the rest isn't covered in nice sticky oil. So we'll wash this off, wash those half nuts off, put it all back together. Obviously clean this up and it should be good to live again. I think you should see there the, the two gears down there. That's the one that's driven by the feed shaft and that's the one that drives. There's a worm in there which when you lift up the... That's a neutral there. When you lift it up it puts that into drive and that's what drives the power feeds. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I don't we'll see what possible harm it can do because it's not a helical gear, it's just a straight cut gear. That's a closer look at the half nuts, I'm engaging the lead screw, that's proper engineering that. Nothing Mickey Mouse about that, that's the real I am. I've washed all the crap out of there and put some new oil in it. Sweet as a nut, just like it should be. Once again, just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do so. And also, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.